what we have here is a stamped steel clutch cover. We can see the bolt holes that would mount to the engine flywheel right there. So our flywheel would get bolted to this clutch cover. And what we can see in this stamped steel, we know it's not, it's not cast, it's formed out of a flat piece of steel that's pressed down or really stamped out with a heavy press into this exact shape. But what's riveted to it is our diaphragm type spring. So this diaphragm spring is often used in our push type clutch. And so what happens is our release bearing rides on the end of these individual release levers right here. And the spring itself is also the release lever. And as the release bearing pushes down on these release levers, we'll see that they come through here and this rivet is where essentially this diaphragm is pivoting. And on this outer ring right here is where the release levers, the cone of the diaphragm spring is actually making contact with the pressure plate. So if we flip this over, we see that the pressure plate is here. It's strapped on the sides. Pressure plate is strapped to the clutch cover through these straps right here. So we know that the clutch cover and the pressure plate rotate as one unit. And so we see this pressure plate here is the friction surface that would be grabbing the clutch material and the clutch disc and then driving through to the center into our input shaft. So this pressure plate is always under the spring pressure of this cone-shaped diaphragm spring. As we push these release levers in towards the flywheel then, so up towards the camera right now, what we would see is that it's pivoting at about the ring right here and releasing the levers that would be holding the outer diameter of the pressure plate. What that, ha what that does is that's a class one lever. That's how we differentiate between a push and a pull type clutch as well as the direction of the release bearing. So this release bearing to release this clutch comes towards the flywheel and what will happen is the pressure plate will be allowed to move away from the flywheel and create a running clearance.